guys, I'm Yu and welcome to my channel, The Unicorn Life, and this week's vlog. I just got back from the dermatologist. I had these like little milia. They're not like pimples, but they're like oil pockets, I believe. Um, so I, I got them zapped because they've been just bugging me because even when I like, they're just flesh color. And even when I wear makeup, like it just looks like bumps. I'm like, why? So anyway, it's just like a zzz, 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 zzz. So I think it's gonna be like a scab, but you can't really see. But yep, me and my little pimple are going to go to Trader Joe's now. So I can finally do a haul for you guys. I'm so excited. I love Trader Joe's, let's go. Got my bone broth because you don't wanna go to the grocery store hungry. So I have girls coming over, my friends, on Friday, so I'm gonna get some flowers. This is it, guys. I'm gonna forget what it's called, but these is what you need to get. And like, I like to get the skinny ones. <gasps> Why I always end up with so much stuff, I will never know. Okay, haul time. So like I told you, I just primarily get produce and meats, um, protein. So we'll start with our Hudson River fruit. These are locally uh, picked. Got some onions here. Avocado, it's gonna go there until it ripens. <gasps> My favorite sweet potatoes. I'm gonna cook these up immediately. And then we've got baby broccoli, some spinach, power to the greens. These are good to just saute up or put in smoothies. Cucumber, uh, Persian cucumber, some zucchini. Because I think I'm gonna make a uh, vegetable, roasted vegetable. So I got a bunch of stuff to roast. I'm gonna do these pretty carrots. Um, bok choy is good stir fried with some chili crisps that I have. Peppers to roast. These are baby cauliflower. I bought a little acorn squash. This is gonna be so good to uh, roast also. And then I got some shrimp. And for meats, we have this balsamic rosemary beef steak tips. I didn't get the shawarma chicken this time, but next time I will. I got some prosciutto, I got some salmon, and then I have um, some tuna, two cans of tuna. This looks so interesting, truffle salami. Mm -mm -mm. And then I got these for snacks on the go for some protein, zero sugar. This is the turkey original beef and jalapeno beef. That sounds interesting. And then I got some grilled chicken strips. These are the flowers. Aren't these beautiful? This, so the color is so gorgeous. So I'm gonna put it over there with my yellow ones to go with my little fall theme over here. And then for the fun stuff, I found this at Kohl's. So I had to return some stuff on Amazon and Kohl's always gives you a $5 thing every time you go there to, um, what's wrong? To uh, return, so I got these little sponges. And then girls night is gonna be Friday that everyone's coming over. So I thought it might be cute if we all had like kind of matching cozy socks. And it's gonna be five of us. So I got five, isn't that so cute? I think I'm gonna keep this one for me. And then whoever comes first could choose. Mm. Oh, I forgot to show you these. So I got some kimchi, some sauerkraut for some fermented foods. And this one has Persian cucumbers. Mmm, looks good. And then I got some liquid stevia, guys. I'm gonna try the stevia and see what all the fuss is about. And then for girls night, I also got some mixers. 
um, this power of seven purple pomegranate tart cherry black mulberry red grape purple carrot cranberry blueberry juice i thought it'd be good with the gin um and then i also got the sparkling cranberry flavored juice for a little sparkle sparkle look how beautiful it goes perfectly i don't know how to like arrange flowers but i think this looks cute don't you think i love these little guys and then our little cat taking a nap if it's perfect and i'm ready for this so i was so hungry so i had to make some things super quick so this is smoked salmon avocado olives cucumbers and some tomato and the salmon has a little bit of um sodium and i'm trying to limit my intake so i'm not gonna put salt i'm just gonna put some pepper on my veggies and i forgot to buy lemon today i'm so bummed because normally i would buy lemon and squeeze it on there because it's so good with vegetables but i forgot me i have to pick it up though i'll go maybe tomorrow or something like that but let's eat let's eat Mm. Cucumbers, avocado, my favorite things. Salmon. Mm. Oh my god, so good. Perfect. Mmm. Mm. 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 Tomato. Ooh. That's the sound of heaven. My oven is ready for my dessert. I'm literally obsessed with these sweet potatoes. Can you guys please make it and tell me what you think? So good. Goodbye. Have fun in the oven. Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday, and I am about to go to work, but I'm going to take Coco first to the vet for her international travel check. Um, so she's going to come with me. Where is she? Where are you? Coco Chanel, what are you doing? She's so cute. She matches her bow matches me today. We're still in our little Halloween spirit. I'm not really feeling breakfast today. I don't know why. Like, I stopped eating at 7 p.m., but for some reason, um, I, I woke up really full for some reason. I don't know why. It's really weird. Wait, I do know why. Remember that sweet potato that I cooked? I freaking ate all of it. Like, every little last drop of it. And sweet potato is really filling because it has a lot of fiber. And those were like three big ones. So that's probably why I'm full. Who am I kidding? But anyway, I feel like I should force myself to eat breakfast um, because I don't, I stop eating at seven. Like if I eat too late, then I'll only end up having one meal. And I, I think it's like not good for your blood sugar level. And I don't know, I don't think that's good for you. So I'm gonna at least just make a smoothie, a protein smoothie. So I get just like all my nutrients. I'm sure I get my, you know, I, I get everything that I need in at least. Um, got my blueberries as a snack for work. And then I'm also gonna bring, of course, my bone broth. So I'm covered. I mean, I'm only at work for three hours today, but since I'm gonna be dropping Coco off, wait, hold on. Look at her. What are you doing? What were you doing just now? <laughs> so I thought I would just show you guys what I put in my smoothie. So we're gonna start with a banana because look how ripe these are, which is good because it's gonna be sweet, um, sweeter, because I don't put anything too sweet in here. This is like my basic smoothie. I don't wanna put too many calories in here since um, I'm not really hungry. So I have some hemp seeds. I'm gonna throw some of that in there, like a tablespoon. And then I got some chia seeds. 
throw some of that in there. So these are pretty caloric already, you know? I mean, for like what they are, tiny little dots. And then I'm gonna put in some almond milk. You know what I hate about almond milk? And Jen, my friend who's watching, she's gonna be like, no, but it says you, after seven to 10 days after opening, you have to use it. But like, this is a large box. Like, it's really hard for me to finish it in that period of time. And I feel like it's been like 10 days already. Now I have to throw it out. Okay, now comes my powders. First, you got your protein. I really like this one. Like sometimes protein powders give me like a stomach ache or like it's really heavy or something or it makes me like gassy. But um, this one doesn't. <laughs> this I got from Trader Joe's and it tastes good. Okay, so then how many, how many proteins, how many grams of protein does it have? 20 grams for a scoop. Mm, that's pretty good. Okay, and then we've got um, my two teamy powders uh i have a coupon code for this i believe i'll put it down below um this is the greens superfood has matcha spirulina wheatgrass and other stuff i think yeah spinach leaf broccoli powder kale powder kelp powder rocket leaf anyway all these good things and like look how green it is and has matcha so it has a, like a nice bit of caffeine because I stopped drinking coffee. So I put that in there and then I got my collagen uh, beauty butterfly. This is the acai flavor. This one has, what do, what do you have? It's just for your hair, skin and nails. I don't know, I like it. It tastes good. Doop. Put that in there. And then I'm gonna put some icing here, I'll be right back. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put some of these peach slices in there today. Cause the last time I made this smoothie, it was like really not sweet at all, which is, I mean, that's not bad, but you know, let's make this good. So I'm just gonna put one, two, three, four, wait, that much. And then we blend. Okay guys, so I just worked out and I'm feeling kind of lazy, but I'm super hungry. And I had to eat my riced cauliflower because it said best until October 30th, which was two days ago. But I'm thinking it's okay, but I think I should eat it today. So I'm gonna attempt to make myself a cauliflower fried rice. I've got some cauliflower sauteing with a little bit of olive oil and I rinsed it because I felt like maybe it wasn't good since it's like two days overdue, two days from best of. So I'm gonna just let the moisture kind of wick out and then I'm gonna put some shrimp in there or protein. So maybe I'll be like, Ooh. I'm adding garlic, minced garlic. Sorry about this angle, guys. Doing my best, doing my best. Ooh, that smells delish. And then I'm gonna lower the heat. I'm gonna add coconut amino instead of soy sauce. I feel like I need some more greens, so I'm gonna add this. I need to put something else in here. Mm. That's really good. It doesn't need anything. 
actually just a little bit of sesame oil. And I think it's like perfect. Put in some sesame seeds. I'm gonna try this Trader Joe's kimchi. I can't even believe I don't have regular kimchi at home, but I haven't gone to H Mart in a while. Mmm, that's pretty good. Mmm, surprise. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna eat. Dinner is served. Perfect. Mm, you don't even miss the rice. Seems mm. good. Mm. Good morning, my unicorns. So, does anyone else just stand here and eat? I was originally going to peel my grapefruit because I got to leave for work in five minutes. Normally I'm not rushing, but I had to fold all my sheets because um, all my sheets were changed yesterday. This morning, so that took some time. Originally, I took this out because I was going to peel my grapefruit and take it and eat it in the car. But then I realized it's gonna take just as long for me to peel it than to just eat it because I basically just peel it with my mouth. It's kinda gross, sorry. But um, I just wanted to ask you guys, how do you eat your grapefruit? I mean, when I was younger, my mom would cut it the other way, like quarters, not this way. And then we had like a little grapefruit spo uh, sponge, grapefruit spoon with the little jagged ends. But um, I started eating it this way because I feel like it's like unsatisfying that way, you know? You get like the smallest pieces. And generally, I don't know why I'm so interested in this grapefruit topic today, but generally when the grapefruits are bigger, you can like take, it's easier to like take big pieces like this, but but these ones from Trader Joe's, I don't know if it's because it's like the pink one, is it different? They're smaller, so it's hard to like get those perfect little spears or they're like really um, tender, so they fall apart like this, you know? So I kind of like, so like, okay show you I peel off this part like this so then this part is exposed and then I just like eat it with my teeth hmm. but I've been trying to eat I've been eating like a grape why is my shoulders up did you see that I'm like this I feel like we always are like that all the time. Like I find myself doing that when I'm like washing the dishes. We need to relax people. Um, I've been eating breakfast, grapefruit for breakfast because I heard a long time ago that's like really good for your metabolism. If I'm not having my protein um, waffles, and I eat that when I wake up hungry. And it's funny because like I don't eat after 7 p.m. And some days I just like wake up really hungry. But these days I've been waking up like feeling still satiated. So I don't know what the deal that is. And look at all this like trash. So the mornings that I wake up feeling kind of full, then I'll just eat a grapefruit. Um, yeah, so that was my little grapefruit spiel for today. Uh, let's head to work. I guess I don't need this anymore. I'm going to save it for tonight's snack, maybe. <laughs> my outfit today, I'm just wearing my favorite sweatshirt and just some leggings. I know, like, leggings are not pants. I used to say that all the time, but, you know, I'm changing my tune. Coco Chanel. What do you have to say for yourself? What are you doing right now?
<laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone. All right, go do your thing. Wanna say hi to everyone today? You're backlit. You're backlit. Let me see your face. Oh, there's that face. There's that face. Oh, your boo boo boo. Look at your face. Look at that face. Look at your face. Look at the face. Look at the face. Yesterday we went to the vet and she's all cleared for international travel. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Remnants from yesterday. We had so much fun, but now I am tired. I have to go back to work tonight at 8.30, and it's still a big deal of work out before then. Even Coco Chanel is like super tired. Um, so I thought, I'm just chilling right now. I thought I would do Coco Chanel. <laughs> I thought I would do a little detox, lunch, snack, whatever. So I have just all my vegetables cut up here. Mm, so fresh, so good. Tomatoes, yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper, cucumber, Persian cucumber, some heirloom carrots. I have the orange one here and like a purple one. Mmm, so good. And water. <laughs> 